Hello everyone. So welcome to the next session in our modern industry course. And today we'll be starting the theme seven. This will be your last theme with respect to your mainstream political movement. So when we'll finish this theme, basically within four, four to five lectures, I think six lectures in totality. After that themes, uh, your main majority, 90%, 95% of your syllabus will be over. And in theme eight, I'll take some different, different things. Uh, but theme eight will be after a while. Th theme seven will be one of the last lecture. The last lecture would be of the theme seven. Chalo. Let us start. Today's topic is debate after the civil disobedience movement. Let us look at the recap a bit. Let's recap, for example, non-cooperation movement happened, then Chauri Chaura incident. After that, we have the Swarajist, no changers, and the revolutionaries. Right? Then Simon Commission came. Then Simon Commission, we have seen Simon Commission. Ne kya kiya? It brought the Indians out of their slumber. Then in opposition to the Simon Commission, Lord Birkenhead's challenge and then Nehru report, first time Indian experience. And then parallelly, you can see one trend that is Jinnah's 14 point. Then an ultimatum will be given that implement this Nehru report, but the ultimatum will not be seen and they will launch a civil disobedience movement. First, they will launch the Lahore resolution in between. Then the civil disobedience movement will be launched. Civil disobedience movement is launched. Then parallelly, what is going on? Round table conferences are going on. First round table conference happened without Congress, nothing major achieved. So England was bound to have the second round table conference and bring the Congress to the scene. And then Gandhi Irwin talked happened. Bhagat Singh parallelly was hanged. Then Gandhi Irwin Pact happened, Bhagat Singh parallelly hanged, Karachi session happened where Gandhi Irwin Pact was endorsed. And then the Bhagat Singh was hanged, Gandhi ji was shown black flags at the Karachi session. Then after the Karachi session, what happened? Third, second, they participated in the, there is a moment of no political activity, less political activity from March 31 to December 31. December 31, again, round table conference, Gandhiji returns back, very disappointed, launches the CDM again. This time government does the repression of the CDM. And government also gives what? McDonald award or communal award. And after the communal award, we have seen what Puna Pact. So this is in brief the whole story of till now what we have covered. Okay. If you are able to understand what I have said each and every word in the last three minutes, then that means you are very, very through with the story. If not, I will say download the PDFs. If you don't want to watch the lectures, download the PDFs and see it again, revise the PDF again or where while you are revising the PDF, whatever the sections you are not getting across, then see that particular content of that video. That would be a good strategy to revise. You know, Chalo. let's talk about today's session. Now, after the round table conference, CDM is gone again. The same thing is happened. Not to do what to do now. Again, there will be responses. Some people, Gandhiji will say no changes, constructive work. No, this time no changes, but world is not used, but constructive work. Some people will say there is still an option of the central legislative assembly elections are held. So council entry. And there will be a new trend, which was not there in the last time. What was this new trend? This new trend was dominated by the leftist, the left leader, such as Ginehru specifically Nehru, who said that this strategy, he challenges the basic premise of the strategy is this struggle, truce, struggle strategy of Gandhiji. We'll discuss in detail. He will say, now we have struggled enough. Now it is time to go from a struggle to victory. It is time to go from a struggle to directly victory. Okay, fine. Then 
again the conflict will be there and again the same thing happened that was surat split the same moment is happening which was avoided 1920s and which will be avoided in 1930s as well theek hai bhai then very important thing that will come that is government of india act of 81935 very very important act <clears throat> government of india act will come based upon the recommendation of the simon commission report simon commission aaya tha na isliye based upon the white paper which will be released from the three round table conferences then discussion within the british parliament and this government of india act will be taken up the government of india act will provide provincial autonomy that the provinces a lot of autonomy to the provinces now again a question come one more debate whether we should so first of all elections are coming whether we should fight the election or not and the second question if even if we win the election and now there is a chance to become the executive in the state first time ever here they all the elections are with respect to legislature understand here the british are executive now here is an opportunity and this is how it is different because here they have the opportunity the indians have the opportunity to become an executive in states that means the indian ministry or the congress ministries will be formed very very interesting now that's becomes a very important dilemma are abhi tak to chalo theek hai council entry we are entering into the minds of the confrontation now we are the power holders we are the ministers we are the executive whether we should take up that role or not that's the second debate that is the second stage debate then there will be different a lot of discussion finally they will decide okay fine we'll fight the election then election will be fought and then we will see in the next session how it turned out congress ruled in 28 months ठीक so this is overarching summary if you're this lecture and the next lecture we'll see in the next time chalo let us start very quickly so withdrawal of the civil disobedience movement happened now again political inactivity or political vacuum is there now again what has to be done what course of action needs to be taken that is the first stage debate so course of the national movement in the immediate future next the second stage debate happened after the government of india act will be passed that whether when the election provincial autonomy will be given whether we should accept office or not acceptance of the office means ministries that is in a role of the executive so considered question of the office acceptance and the context of the elections under the government of india act of 19 35 if we talk about the first stage debate who are the major participants the first participant is the constructive work gandhian way okay don't do anything do the immediate movement we are talking about okay let's constructive work harijan movement political and education political propaganda and all these things second people will say constitutional struggle let us do constitutional struggle participate in the election to the central legislative M A Ansari, Asif Ali, Bhula Bhai Desai, all these people will do. They will say that we should at least go for the council entry. The same argument given by the Swarajist. The council work. If you enter into the council, so currently if you are doing nothing, it is better than this thing. It is another political front. It will increase the interest and the morals of the Indians in the system, or in the Congress, not in the system. entering into the council does not mean that we have the faith in the constitutional politics we still believe in the mass politics that is seen in the non cooperation and the civil disobedience movement but at this time there is nothing being to be done then it will give congress prestige and confidence once they all once they get good seats in the central legislative assembly okay now this is the new trend dominated by the leftist they were critical of both they say this constructive work is not required now if we go for the constructive work all this revolutionary potential that we have done we have created through these movements all that revolutionary potential will be gone we should not do that so they were critical of the both they favored the resumption of the what mass 
politics non constitutional mass struggle and continue the non constitutional mass struggle let us continue this mass struggle we will favor this mass struggle only they say the situation is revolutionary economy is very poor masses are ready to sacrifice and masses are ready for this extra constitutional struggle and we will not stop till we get the independence so this was the idea of the third wheel or the third view at this point of time this view was not present in the 1920s remember that ye view 1920 mein nahi tha not present in 1920s which was that is how this debate is different from the previous debate and this view the third view was dominated by nehru what was his beliefs let us see nehru said the basic goal before the indian people as before the people of the world is the abolition of the capitalism and the establishment of the socialism he considered withdrawal of the cdm and entry a spiritual defeat a surrender of the ideals and the retreat from revolutionary to reformist mentality he suggested that the western interest to be revi revised in the favor of the masses taking up the economic and the class demand and yes sir there could be no anti imperial struggle he said without incorporating the class struggle of the masses what do you mean by what what nehru wants to say here first of all he wants to say that continue this struggle second thing is saying that take up this peasant and the workers cause as well if you don't take up this peasants and the worker class then nothing else nothing significant will happen anti imperialist struggle within this anti imperialist struggle it is also important to incorporate this class struggles as well whether it is a struggle of the peasant whether it is a struggle of the workers we have to include these causes into the indian national movement scene very very important that is the nehru's vision and hence his strategy is also different from the gandhian strategy gandhian strategy was struggle then truce then struggle in between there will be a pe movement of the peace or movement of talks and then non cooperation movement civil disobedience movement then quit india movement like that this was gandhian strategy but nehru at this moment was not agreeing to it later on we'll see he will agree to it so gandhi versus nehru if you see what was the argument of gandhi struggle true struggle what why is the period of truce in between it will enable the masses to recoup their strength recoup their strength so whatever the strength that they have lost during the struggle during the sacrificing hunger strike so much government repression suppression and all these thing they will get strength to get the strength to fight so for that you require the constructive work give government chance to respond to the demands of the nestlers are bhai we are demanding let us see what they are saying and this is again based upon the gandhian idea of compromise the, the same idea of the compromise that we have seen from the champara and ahmedabad and kheda again you can see the same idea give chance government to compromise whether it was gandhi irvin talk and later on we will see wevel plan and all gandhi will give the government to respond to demands and then obviously the logical corollary is that the limited capacity of the sacrifice of the people hence we need to have this truce otherwise the revolutionary potential will go down and down and down and it will burn out so the best part is struggle truce and then struggle better struggle better struggle more that is the idea so that should be the right map actually so struggle and then your struggle should be more and then your struggle should be more okay revolutionary potential if you map it map pep on this you can draw this map in your mains exam so revolutionary potential as a it is increasing and this is time this is a good graph that you can make okay so selling uh, telling the same thing with the diagrammatic format what about nehru nehru ne bola ki bhai we need to go from struggle to directly victory there should be continuous confrontation and conflict with the imperialism till it was thrown out and we have to maintain a continuous direct action 
finally what is to be done three time three different different ideas are there let us very quickly see what was finally decided parliamentary gandhi ji ne bola gandhi ji said that parliamentary politics cannot lead to freedom but those congressmen there will be few congressmen which will not be happy with the constructive worker they should be given the chance to channelize their energy through the council entry provided that they are not sucked into the constitutionalism or self serving he is not in the favor of nehru's view we do not want a mass struggle now and the gandhi which placate nehru he will see that does not mean that the withdrawal of the cdm did not mean bowing down before the opportunistic opportunist or compromising with imperialism so unhone nehru ko samjhaya he said to nehru that trust me this is not the right time for the mass struggle and with respect to the second people he said okay fine go ahead if you are not interested in the constructive work do something which you like with but don't get sucked into or don't get the problem of the privileges that happened with the swarajist in the case of swarajist so in may 1934 all india congress committee met at a panel to met a parliamentary board to fight election under the aegis of the congress itself out of the 75 seats reserved for the indians in the central legislative assembly congress got 45 seats good performance but gandhi ji is not realizing his time in the congress is now is over he is not in tune with the current leadership out of respect people are following him but he is not in touch with what is going on within the congress whether it is nehru or whether it is the constitutionalist those who want to so gandhi ji realized that he is out of tune with the powerful trends in the congress for example many people do not like the gandhian call of the khadi spinning charkha spinning wheel many people did not like gandhi's idea gandhi ne bola these are people believe that these are very very shallow ideas or these are very uh, superfluous idea which do not have not, which have very little to do with the national movement they say these people these things they put a drag on the revolutionary side of things so gandhi ji felt that and gandhi ji exited the congress plus socialist led by nehru also had the difference with gandhi gandhi did not believe in the kind of socialism that these people thought gandhi had its own idea of the seeing things right so thus it was better gandhi felt to gradually radical or the socialist also felt that rather than forming a separate organization than gandhi uh, then the congress this is congress and this is the leftist let us radicalize the congress within itself infiltrate congress but in a positive way and radicalize the co congress and prepare the congress for the workers and the peace and cause and which happened as well which we'll see later on for example later on when nehru became the president in the faizpur session in the lucknow session and the faizpur session 1937 and 19 and 36 and 1937 then the demands of the peasants demands the workers will be taken up very very important idea now let's talk about so first debate is solved they have entered into the council they got the seats the second thing is government of india act now we have seen a lot of charter first we have started with the regulating act right 1773 and then chart series of charter acts then we have seen government of india act 1909 and then government of india act of 1919 now government of india act of 1935 the background of it lies we have already discussed simon commission the it is poor working of this act simon commission was being sent early so recommendation of simon commission a lot of round table conferences happened these idea indian response nehru report jinna point these ideas and the idea of the british as well that what should be the future course of constitutional things in india so that comprises in the government of india act of 1935 very very big act very big act and some of the ideas of the government of india act is already reflects in our constitution padhte hai na in the polity first chapter ya second chapter salient feature of the constitution where we read about the features that have come from the government of india act of 1935 so majorly it can be divided into three parts first the idea of to create an all india federation 
then at the federal level something at the executive level something at legislature level and most importantly at the provincial level which got enacted this was not enacted it was a provision in the act but it was never 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 ever enacted provincial level it got enacted and then finally congress ministries will be formed under this heading of the provisions chalo let us see one by one first all india federation so british with government of india act of 1935 wanted to create an all india federation so comprises of the british india comprises of the so many princely states and the chief minister province chief minister province are you can imagine the union territories uts current uts previously chief minister commissioners province so british india chief commissioner province and most importantly the indian states combining them combining everyone to create an all india federation theek but it was made conditional just like paris agreement paris agreement was being made conditional this agreement will come into being only after the 55 countries responsible for let's say 55% of the emissions when they will come up together for example 55 country of pacific countries can come together sign but the pacific country contribute only 2% of the global emission then that won't be there 55 countries minimum 55 countries and cumulatively 55% of the global emissions those countries who have signed paris agreement then only the paris agreement will come into force similarly this was also like that conditional so the states with the allotment of 52 seats in the proposed council are agreed to join we don't have to go too much into deep but that was conditional and at least 50% of total population being represented by all the these three if they agree to join the federation but these demands were never met they could not find time to get this done because we will see after that provincial level election happened and when it was time to implement this then world war 2 happened then everything went haywire and then alag the different things started to being discussed so this aspect of the government of india act never got implemented because it was made conditional and those conditions were never met that is the main idea then at the federal level the changes at the legislative level and at the executive level very easy at the executive level governor general was pivot you can say diarchy was introduced at the central this time at the central level this time diarchy is introduced because now they have reserved and the transferred subject the same idea that we have discussed in detail with the 1919 act at the state level at the state level diarchy was there in 1919 act now 1935 act we will see the diarchy will be replaced by the bicameralism in the states so see here earlier with the 1990 act very quickly this one thing just need to understand diarchy was given to the province did not work well and then diarchy is replaced with the provincial autonomy diarchy will be replaced but with 1935 the diarchy or the diarchy was given to the at the central level the same idea there will be a reserved subject there will be transferred subject the reserved subject will be taken by the governor general and executive councilor and they will not be responsible to the legislature they will not be responsible to the legislature they will not, not they will not ask they will not answer the question with respect to these items which is given in the reserved list and the transferred subject will be taken up by the governor general and the minister elected by the legislature and obviously they will be responsible to the legislature so no confidence motion and everything can come against them with respect to the other subjects which is not there in the reserved subject understood so governor general with a handful of his people are there to so governor general and executive councilor these are the this is the one cabinet then there is a ministers so these people will not be responsible with respect to whatever decisions that they take with respect to the reserve subject but the minister governor general and the ministers which is coming from below that is from legislatures to the minister they will be responsible for the subjects that are transferred in nature education health and all this 
then governor general can act in the individual judgment in the discharge of the special responsibility has been given to him so in the case, name of the special responsibility you given a lot of power again to the governor general semblance of democracy only then at the legislative level they again created an upper house that is council of the state and the lower house which they call as the federal assembly now here that 260 members are there yahan 375 members are there both are elected like that elected from the british india so from british india election will happen and from the princely states only the nomination will happen so the princes again can nominate people theek but the election which is happening now in the ironically in the council of state it is direct election which is happening and in the lower house it is the indirect election which is happening so one thing that you need to keep in mind three list were created central provincial and the concurrent list 80% of the budget was still non votable and the sudi power rest with the governor general so this is the overarching government of india act at the federal level now i will recommend that after reading from this go from the textbook and read the text wise so that you that will be confirmed whatever we have discussed at the provincial level first thing was provincial autonomy we will provide you provincial autonomy so diarchy of 1919 was replaced with the provincial autonomy what do you mean by provincial autonomy that means now the provinces have a separate legal entity they will not have any superintendence and direction from the secretary of state or the governor general they will have the the governor in the state will be a crown's nominee so the crown will appoint one governor governor in the states so the at the center governor general and the secretary of the state will have less power with respect to the provinces that is the main idea that is provincial autonomy governor will have a special power governor means now state level thing governor could take over administration indefinitely and run administration so similar power to article 356 not article 356 per se but similar articles to that so diarchy autonomy separate legal entity freed from superintendence direction of secretary of state provincial independent financial powers and resources are being given at the legislative level at the provinces separate electorate based on communal award all members directly elected women got the rights as per the men importantly women uh, ministers are answerable and removable by the legislature and 40% of the budget was still not portable so these are the provisions of the government of india act we will solve at least two to three question with respect to government of india act so as to revise these things and so as to add some more points objectively understood so by government of india act kya hai jaldi jaldi government of india act three portion all india federation something at federal level and provincial autonomy at the province level obviously provinces level pe diarchy reduced hui and then what has been introduced provincial autonomy has been introduced at the central level both bicameralism and the diarchy is there at the state level also bicameralism is still existing you know jo pichle baar bhi diya tha if you talk about the evolution of the act so numerous safeguards and special responsibility worked as a break even if some people can see that it's a democratic democratic uh, democratic advancement but when you provide some discretionary power or some vague words into your constitution or in your act then all these thing act as a excuse to exercise power whenever they want to provinces in the provinces similarly in the provinces governor got very extensive power with respect to the number of people who got the idea of the voting or who can vote only 14% of the british india population so very very less so in enfranchisement was very less communal electorate the extension of the communal electorate and representation of the various interest culminated in the partition later on because now the british government has improved the has led to the communal electorate and bada diya we'll see more for example for women separate electorate communal award again problem then it was a very rigid constitution that was 1935 any amendment to the 1935 act could be done only and only with the british parliament the right of the amendments were reserved for the british parliament hence if you want to do any amendments to it 
it has to be done in the british parliament so again you can see very rigid constitution so these are the problems with respect to this now it begs the question that what is the long term strategy of the british what british really wants to achieve with this particular act for example what do they mean by when they give the provincial autonomy many scholars argue that it was because when you provide provincial autonomy and when you provide the office acceptance in the provinces now indians can accept office in the provinces now imagine it's an all india movement right with big leaders such as gandhi nehru bose but when you provide the office acceptance in these provinces it will provincialize the national movement understand this provincialization of the national movement now your national movement got provincialized you will have the provincial leaders let's say one leader is here leader one leader two obviously all india leaders cannot participate or very effectively get into this local because they have the all india perspective but when these local local leaders you have propped up then the influence of this all india leaders will reduce and plus these local leaders are we will no longer have the habit of the sacrifice they will be requiring the perks they will be getting the perks of the office the power which is there that is one of the strategies of the british the more we will see like this so they british also realized that by carrot and stick carrot they have a stick they have done with the repression post the cdm a stick that is the stick sorry they have done this is now the time to provide the carrot so government of india act was kind of a carrot to weaken the movement in the long run they will try and they are trying to integrate the various strands of the movement into different different phases of the movement for example include some people in the provinces some people in the legislature so those people who have the revolutionary potential put these people into some structure legal administrative somewhere constitutional give some power to them and later on their revolutionary potential will decrease reforms would revive the political standing of the constitutional liberals and moderate when you provide a carrot these liberals and the moderates will see are bhai bahut acha very very good we got something and their political standing will also improve then when the reforms are after the stick the carrot is presented a lot of people will also realize the futile how futile this uh, all this complete independence and purna swaraj is you can see how much repression is being done and see how this british are also providing reforms let's wait for the british to provide the reforms then the same argument that if these people get the taste of the power if these leaders get the taste of the power the politics of the sacrifice will reduce creating a division within the congress that is the right wing versus the left wing now left wing led by gand or left wing led by nehru and bose they were saying no struggle 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 right wing will say no no let's accept hindu mahasabha for example will accept that government of india act of 1935 they'll say okay okay we will cooperate with you no issue so left wing versus right radical left and right wing is also an issue then we have discussed the provincial autonomy and provincial leaders in the province an autonomous center of power will be created that will that according to the british could be a drag on the national movement so this was the long term strategy of the british with the government of india act what was the responses being seen the act of the 1935 was condemned by nearly all sections of the all sections and unanimously rejected by the congress कांग्रेस ने तो रिजेक्ट किया ही किया एंड मेजोरिटी ऑफ द सेक्शंस हैव रिजेक्टेड दिस गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट ऑफ 1935 यू कैन सी राइट विंग हिंदू महासभा एंड नेशनल लिबरल फाउंडेशन हाउएवर एंड सम पोर्शन ऑफ द लेफ्ट आल्सो डिक्लेयर्ड देमसेल्व्स इन द फेवरिंग ऑफ द 1935 एक्ट इन द सेंट्रल एज़ वेल एज़ द प्रोविंशियल लेवल कांग्रेस ऑन द अदर डिमांड द कन्वीनिंग ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन असेंबली इलेक्टेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एडल्ट फ्रेंचाइजी टू फ्रेम द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बिकॉज़ आफ्टर द नेहरू रिपोर्ट दे आर वेरी क्लियर and after the lahore resolution ki bhai hame to keval purna swaraj hi chahiye they are saying ab to kya karna now just frame this constituent assembly remember the objections to the formation of the simon commission no oh, sorry 
round table conference the demands to enter into the round table conference that we will enter round table conference not to decide the constitutional future or not to no, not to decide whether we should take dominant status or not but we are going to decide the ki bhai constituent assembly kaise banegi how this will be done we will discuss that we will not discuss that what you are going to give us no we are going to discuss how you are going to give us that is the idea then the government of india act has been enacted provincial autonomy given now the second stage of debate ki bhai okay now the act is being there now there is a opportunity for the congress to fight the elections and not only become the part of the legislature but also become the part of the executive right so debate on the future strategy of adopted by the nationalists everyone in the congress agreed ki bhai 1935 act has to be opposed root and branch but it was not clear how it needs to be done when a mass movement was not yet feasible theek okay. very important idea that you need to remember the full agreement was there that the congress should fight the election this was never a disagreement here yes the congress will fight the election but whether what to do after the election that was not clear what to do if congress wins the majority in the province then kya kare form government we should form a government or not whether we should accept the executive role or not so this was the major debate then then again divided opinions how the opinions will be divided think yourself one divided opinion will be yes form the government second it's a similar thing if you have follow the aam aadmi party the aam aadmi party same dilemma they faced not same but similar form the government some people will say and some people will say no don't form the government win the election sit in the opposition expose the british expose this constitutional fraud or constitutional sham that is there this legislative assembly right so form the government and don't form the government that is the major division point it was not the division point whether we should fight the election or not and both the sides will come up with their own set of arguments let us see those people will be saying no don't form the government nehru bose congress socialist communists they will say oppose the office acceptance office will negate the rejection of the act they will say it will show our hypocrisy on the one hand in our manifesto we have written ki bhai we'll see the manifesto that ki bhai we don't agree with this government of india act on the other hand you are forming the government based upon it this is not right we should not do this it is similar to responsibility without power it is something similar to responsibility without power this is not right it will bring down the revolutionary character it will bring down the revolutionary character of the movement or the whole indian national movement they say enter the council but create deadlocks increase reliance on the worker peasant and socialist direction to the congress good do these thing both the area should be an arena of struggle that's what the these people have said on the other hand you have the proponents of the office acceptance there will be people who will be accepting the office they say that by option of the mass movement to available hai nahi if we do not form the government let us say we won the majority seats if we don't form the government then these people they will form the government and these are pro government people obviously if they are fighting the congress if they are opposed the congress then they are pro government people and government will be more than happy to give these people the same argument we have discussed previously these are also somewhat indians so in the semblance of that indians are representing you these pro government element will come up and these people will be at the helm of the affairs you see kind of debate that is there ethical dilemmas kitna dilemma hai yahan pe so administrative field should not be left open to pro government re reactionary forces despite limited power the provincial ministries could be used for the promote the constructive work humko jo ministry milegi the whatever power we will get we will use that power to 
increase our influence do the constructive work do the right thing that was the divided opinion at that point of time gandhi ji ki position kya thi gandhi ji opposed the office acceptance in the cwc meeting but he was willing to give a trial to the formation of the congress ministry later on theek so this is the important idea then Gang congress decided to fight the election and postpone the decision on the office acceptance in the post election phase congress resolution was not to submit to the constitution or to cooperate with it but to combat it inside and outside the legislature so that it can be ended so accept nahi karna hai submit nahi karna hai cooperate nahi karna hai but we need to combat it now the elections happened in the 11 provinces election held in the 11 provinces madras central province bihar odisha will see and out of these 11 provinces a lot of people participated first time in which large number of indians participated around 30.1 million persons including 4.25 million women have been enfranchised 14% of the population that we have said so many people participated gandhi ji did not attend a single election meeting the election manifesto as we have discussed will be to fight this act that show this act total rejection of this act release the prisoners remove the disability on the basis of gender caste radical transformation of the agrarian system substantial reduction of the rent scaling down the rural departments improving the civil liberty work for the laborers do some social social welfare and all these things we'll see in the next session so these are the promises and the manifesto that is there of the congress what about the performance of the congress so around 1100 seats is contested 716 seat it won so good seats it got majority in all province except in bengal assam punjab sind and wfp and later on and emerge as largest party in these states and because of these performance we'll see this don't worry because of the performance in the prestige of the congress rose and nehru was reconciled to the dominant strategy of stf nehru ne bhi dekha yaar ki we have performed so well see in the elections people trust us so struggle true struggle is the right path A struggle to victory cannot happen because the masses are not ready for the mass movement so this is the congress performance and that is a second stage debate ye dekhte hain and then we'll finish the session chalo no 11 provinces it happened so assam so it won majority in bang bihar central province you can see majority congress 92 and majority means total seats easy central province 70 10112 won in madras won in odisha won in united province so these are the five provinces which at once clear majority it become the largest party means not majority but largest party for example in assam 33 seats total seats are 108 but largest seat, largest party bengal the largest party 54 out of 250 bombay interestingly 86 and the 175 is there so 175 means how much majority needs to be there eight and then 87 was the majority 87 88 was the majority and they fell short of the two seats then they got the support of the some other people not an issue so in the bombay also they'll form the ministry later on jaise abhi hote hain election election happens you become a majority party or you become the single largest party depending upon that you form government or you sit in the opposition similarly in punjab they did not form the majority you can see out of 175 only 18 seats union unionist party was the major seat similarly in sindh they did not form a majority united party was the majority so in these two provinces these two governments have been formed samajh mein aaya i hope so chalo so this is the end of the session so today session just, just to summarize what we have discussed that two two stage debates two stage debates post your cdm and in between between the two stage government of india act of 1935 was there and we have seen the three responses here divided opinion there here the question was whether to accept office or not here the question was how to go about the immediately mass movement and in between government of india act in detail we have seen so this is all with respect to today's session in the next session we will talk about how the congress ministries failed of uh, not failed but fared kaise hui not failed i should say but fared in the 28 months that were that were there in the office what were their expectation what was there in the manifesto and how much they are able to deliver on the ground next session will be small i'll discuss a few questions also in the next session so till then bye bye everyone
uh, with respect to questions yes some means questions are missing i'll provide all the means question with together in the, i think in the next to next session i'll provide a lot of means questions as well and the prelims questions will also continue theek okay? hai so with respect to that let's finish the session see you all in the next session session number 42 bye bye